Seven Seas is quickly becoming my favourite publishing house at the moment, given how many books they've read lately that they've localised, and with many more to come. Polio the Purple and the Vivi Prototype series, for starters, and this is no different. I imagine the impending anime adaptation is why this was translated in the first place, but is that really a reason to complain with both the story and translation are so incredible? One summer morning before school, Karu hears an unsettling rumour of a mysterious tunnel that can grant any wish to those who enter it, but ages them dramatically in exchange. At first, he writes it off as nothing more than an urban legend, but that very night he happens upon the self-same passage, the Urashima Tunnel. When he returns to explore the tunnel the next day, he finds he's been followed by the new girl in class, a total enigma by the name of Anzu. She takes an interest in Karu, and they agree to work together to investigate the time-twisting tunnel and uncover its secrets. Honestly, the cover and name alone hooked me when I saw it on the light novel subreddit a long time ago, March 31st to be exact, and I was excited to get my hands on it when it came out. It took me longer to get through it than it normally would due to circumstances, but I'm so glad I did. This book is gripping, and something I've learned recently I like about supernatural stories is something included here as well. The story focuses on the characters outside of the supernatural elements. The story is as much about Karo and Anzu's strained relationships with their families and classmates as it is about their investigation of the tunnel. In fact, I'd argue the former is more so important. Their friendship is also really compelling to see and fall too. At first, I thought Karo's friend was a better fit for her, since he's the more proactive one who actually tries to help her when she's in need of it early on, but over time it becomes clear that Karu's past and way of thinking is a much better match for her, and their chemistry and growth is really nice to see in fault as well. The book is a lot longer than most I've reviewed, so there's a lot to really sink your teeth into, but just like the Urashima Tunnel, it warped my sense of time so much that I didn't feel any of it passing me by, and I trust it'll do the same to you as well. It's what the author set out to do, and he pulled it up with flying colours. So it goes without saying, I absolutely love this book and fully recommend it. I'm so excited to read the manga when it comes out, Volume 1 comes out in July, and of course see the movie in September, or whenever it becomes available in the West too. I've only seen a tiny bit of the trailer, but it already looks incredible. Thank you for reaching the end of this video, I hope you liked it. Please let me and everyone else know your thoughts and recommendations or feedback in the comments. Also like, share and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you all again for watching, and as always, have a great day.